What's up YouTube family? This is Jeff with a little bit of everything home services coming to you with another video. Today I'm on a service call where the complaint was the customer said the unit keeps tripping. It said the breaker for the unit keeps tri tripping. And I was thinking to myself, oh, breaker tripping. Uh, it could be a couple things. Could be, you know, it could be a, a grounded compressor if it just trips immediately. I didn't have all the information before I got here. But once I got here, she said that it's been tripping periodically. And I'm like, hmm, so what's up with that? Thinking, well, let's check and see if the breaker's bad, you know. So um, let the unit run. It was running when I got here, you know. So I was like, hmm, let me check a few things. Check the breaker wasn't warm to touch. Uh, I checked the amperage because I'm thinking maybe the compressor is over amping. And then, of course, if it's over amping, it's, it can cause that breaker to trip. So, or something's over amping. Nope, compressor wasn't over amping. The, uh, the fan wasn't over amping. The current was great. The voltage was great running to the unit. You know, there was nothing that I could see wrong as far as, you know, all of those things. So I'm thinking, well, maybe it could be the breaker. But always check yourself and look closer. And when I look closer, let me show you what I find. Okay, family, so I've already killed power at the breaker. So uh, none of this is hot right now. The only thing that has voltage running to it still is the 24 volts uh, running um, to the unit, you know, to the thermostat. So, um, but look closer. As I look closer, you see, wait, see right there? See how it's burnt looking, discolored? I saw that and I'm like, wait a minute. So then I look closer, I said, and then if you look here, you see these two wires right here? That's the compressor and the fan wire. See how it's stuck together? It melted together, and you can see the wire in there. See how it's touching? That would cause the breaker to trip all day long. So I'm going to separate those two wires, and uh, I'm putting new new terminals on there. I'm not going to go in and replace the whole wire to the compressor, but I mean it's good to check your work. And just double check things you know because sometimes you got to step back but it's a very very easy fix um there's enough wire here where i don't have to do anything but but um cut it strip it back and put new um ends on there so it's always good to carry you a, a box with different connectors on it you know it's always good to carry something like that so I'm going to go ahead and strip this wire back and call this good, family. Let's see here. And what you would need to do this, now I know there's plenty plenty out there in the field that can do this in their sleep, but some, some may be watching and uh, say, well, what do you mean, Jeff, by that? I'm going to show you. I'm just going to pull out a pair of wire strippers. Let me pull this, I'm going to pull this off of the both of these wires off of the contact. See how those wires were touching, family? Yep, you're gonna get a trip breaker all day long from that. So all I'm gonna do is take some wire strippers and I'm going to cut this to good wire. See there, I'm gonna cut that back even further. I got plenty, plenty of room. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna strip the wire back. Go see exposed wire now why this happened i can tell you now in our area we've been having a whole lot of electrical issues from these storms i've ran i've run into so many electrical problems within the last month or two um we're having a bunch of electrical storms come through and a, a bunch of uh issues with wire because of that so i'm not surprised at all that you get a good look at this thing Look at this. It's 
done for. I'm gonna cut this one too. Strip it back. Well, didn't get through that all the way. Good one. There we go. All right. Now I just need to crimp it. And here are my crimpers. Squeeze it down. Pull on it. It's good connection. All right, I'm gonna put it back on here. Now, my issue is this wire right here. I'm ready to go check the truck, so I'll be back. Okay, family, I am back. And what I had to do, I had to run to the store because I did not have the. Um, the right disconnects as you see so I went up and picked up one and this is what I need right here so simple and plain now I need to crimp it Pull on it, good and snug, because loose wires does what, family? Cause fires. There we go. I'm gonna go turn power back on to the unit and turn it back on to test. And immediately it came on because it must have warmed up in the house while it was off so um, it was calling right away all right fam I want to thank you for taking the time to check out the video for this little simple repair uh, but like I said I don't know if your area you may be noticing a lot of electrical issues because of the storm lightning strikes and strikes and all these different things so I'll uh, keep an eye on it in your area I want to thank you thank you again talk to you soon and have a blessed day